My name is Captain Cem Alkan. I'm working in Pegasus Airlines. Fleet size is almost 49 airplanes. Most of the airplanes are made up of Boeing 737-800. Pegasus Airlines is based in Istanbul and also Antalya. Mainly we are operating as low-cost operator. Occasionally we fly charter flights. I had the chance to monitor the improvement of the weather radars in the aviation. We were trying to diminish the lightning strike and hail strike ratios to enhance the passenger comfort. We were looking for a sophisticated weather radar system. RDR 4000 reduces the workload in the cockpit in, in severe weather conditions. It has an auto tilt and at the same time it has a a manual tip. You can use uh, both of them simultaneously and if you are using in auto mode it makes a 3D buffering from ground level to 60,000 feet continuously and also it tracks weather vertically and laterally. In manual mode you can have 1,000 feet slices if you are flying at 15,000 feet, you can see 3,000 feet weather, which works very nice for planning purposes. When I was a first officer about three years ago, we were trying to land to Istanbul Sabiha Gökçen Airport in a significant weather condition. There was a build-up just at the beginning of the final approach fix and it was very hard to establish ILS on that kind of weather. Since we were using RDR 4000, we looked down to 3000 feet, which was the platform altitude for establishing glide slope. And because of this feature of RDR 4000, we examined the 3000 feet weather and it was good to go. And we decided to continue for landing while some other airplanes were holding. It was a very nice experience of mine. We are having very nice feedbacks from all the pilots. And if we look at the statistics, we can easily see that the lightning strikes and hail strike ratios are diminished better than we expected. Also, it increases passenger comfort by a good planning and also it is affecting fuel savings. That's why we can advise RDR 4000 to all airlines.